Dead Man's Grip tells the story of a 41-year-old woman in Brighton called Carly Chase. And the, the novel begins with her waking with a hangover. She's been on a blind date. And she's late. She has to get her son to school. She drives him to school, drops him off. And then she's hurrying, pulls out on the main road right in front of a white van, which flashes at her and hoots at her. Um, and then her phone rings, and she glances down, but sensibly she doesn't answer it. As she looks back up at the road, a cyclist has shot out of a side turning and is coming straight at her on the wrong side of the road. She swerves to avoid him and crashes into the wall of an empty cafe. The van hits the cyclist, flips him across the road, and he goes straight under the wheels of a heavy lorry coming the other way and is flattened. When the police arrive at the scene, She's breathalyzed and she's over the limit from the night before. The van driver's done a hit and run and has vanished. And the lorry driver is found to have driven 18 hours non-stop down from Scotland, which makes him out of hours, which is a serious offense. The police then identify the dead boy and they discover that he's from New York. The reason he's in Brighton is he met a girl in the city and has come over to be with her. And they then discover that his mother is the daughter of the New York Mafia godfather. She comes over to identify her son. And when she learns the truth of how the accident happened, she decides that she wants to have everyone involved in that accident tortured and killed in revenge. Dead Man's Grip, out now at waterstones.com.